Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here again. And today I got another one of the Honey Bee Acres uh, line to review. This one is the Sunflower Country Cottage. It is the medium size of the play sets that are currently available. There is a country home, uh, like a country uh, store. And then there's also the Busby Farms house. And this one is just two levels. So two basic rooms. And it's very cute. And I figure it's a good place to start. And it does come with a figure. Uh, this one is plastic. It's not a, it's not an actual figure up there. But, and it comes with 17 pieces. So again, let's take a look at this packaging. Uh, it's very pretty. Again, there's no plastic here to stop you. Uh, everything is kind of sealed down in its own little plastic compartments. You can see the stonework on the outside of that chimney over there. Uh, and then we've got the, yeah, the Buzz General Store is that medium sized one that we were talking about. Or this is the smallest one, yeah. But, again, it's very cute like this. Like, this is the, it shows you the front of it on the, uh, on the packaging, which is nice. Uh, it's got this little window box that's actually inside the house right now uh, that you can stick on one of the windows. It's got 17 pieces. The figure does count as one of the 17 pieces. So, we're going to give a look at this. Uh, it does have a little description, and it does say, Cousin Chloe loves staying in this cozy cottage. Sunflowers are her favorite, so Chloe feels perfectly at home. She can snuggle by the warm fire and sip tea or take a nap anytime she likes. Chloe makes sure she like she rests up since there's so much to do in Honey Bee Acres. And again... Cousin Chloe is exclusive to this set. Uh, in my next video, I am going to do a review of one of the uh, family packs, and I did get the cat family. Uh, again, this is Sunflower Country Cottage. It does say it down here. Uh, HBAToys.com. I tried this link the other day, and it just takes you to their YouTube, which I was kind of surprised at. But that's okay uh, and I did try to find some of the calico critters in stores and I couldn't but I was able to pick up a uh, a little woodsies family pack at Target when I went out yesterday because I'm gonna do a comparison of the two different types of family packs that we have uh, and again, we've got this little uh, window on the side over here, and it takes us back over here. It does have a ribbon on the top instead of one of those irritating plastic handles that tears into your hand. And this whole thing is decently heavy, and I did look at something similar to this for the Little Woodsies. The little, this was $24.99 at Walmart. That's full retail. Uh, I'm guessing that's MSRP. And this has 17 pieces. I looked, and it's pretty detailed. Like, it's different colors. There's some wallpaper back there. There's the stonework for the fireplace. And I did look at the... Um, at the little medium cabin for Little Woodsies. And the Little Woodsies one does not really have a box it has I think like six furniture pieces and that's about it and it has no figure that comes with it uh, there's no box to display it in if you don't want to take it out and it's the same price so I think this is a better deal uh, the furniture there's not as much room to put stuff in here uh, I am going to take some of the living room furniture that I have and see about putting it around here. 
just because I do have some room to play with in these. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's open some of this up. And I think I only have to do those two and I can take it out. Again, our box is pretty uh, savable. You don't have to tear it open to get anything out. Uh, we do have it like this now. It does have an interior box that we have to take more tape off of, but there's nothing too crazy about this tape. Normally I would use my box cutter, but it is not by where my video is. And I have scissors out, so I'm just gonna use the scissors because I don't wanna go search for my box cutters right now. But remember, if you use scissors like this, always be careful of the other side of the blade because more than once I've accidentally sliced my finger. And that is what happens when you are overconfident past childhood. <laughs> So we do have this, let me see, okay. So down here at the bottom, it does have two little uh, screw-in pieces that are holding this to the cardboard, which I do kind of like these little screw-in pieces, just because it means there's less of these type that I hate, these zip tie ones but it's also, uh, it's also kind of weird on the part of the toy maker to make this screw specifically for packaging. But I'm not gonna complain because I prefer it. Well, let's see. That might be what we need to uh, take it off from here, yeah. So you can actually save that background also, surprisingly, because that background doesn't have any sort of um, holes in it. I mean, there's a little dent right here, but I think that's just from uh, normal kind of bumping around in the box. So, I mean, you can save this background for play because all you'd have to do is fold down this part right here to make this all lay flat. And then you've got a little, uh, place that background but so this is what it looks like out of the box let me readjust my camera again so I'm gonna do a quick 360 look at that detailing on the stonework we've got sunflower and ivy and you can see the rivets on the roof Again, there's ivy climbing up onto the roof. We've got very cute window ledges. We do have one little uh, plastic staple holding it right there to hold that door closed. And your door does come open. And we've got another windowsill over here. This is where you're supposed to hang the flower box. We've got an upper window again. And look, you can even, they even put the support beams in the house. And if you see back there, there is sunflower wallpaper. And that is just, that is great. Now let's get a closer look at the interiors. So look at that, that looks awesome. You've got a hearth, you've got a little fireplace. So let's, take these off. So these are just held on with tape to the bottom and this is the whole floor is gonna come out, I'm pretty sure. We are gonna see here in a minute just how much of this comes off. Because I didn't see any tape on the other side but that doesn't mean that it's not Oh, so it is actually held on just with little tabs. So it's basically just held on with tension. 
which I love because that whole part comes off. Like this whole part that's got all of our furniture and everything on it comes off and it does reveal a really detailed floor. Like, look at that. You see the individual grains on the wood. They are done in a slightly repeating pattern, but there are different planks. Like that is awesome. Like, look at how that looks inside there. That is a great feature. And again, we're gonna do the same thing with our uh, with our second floor. This one's a little more complicated because it's got tape around this corner. And this one. And then we're gonna take this little tape off that's under here also. take it off right there. And again, you see that so much better. Like there are individual plank patterns on the support beams. Like that is just awesome in my book. Like this is just really well molded. Like just in general, like you do have the siding. Like again, there's that wallpaper back there. It is very cute. I think this is a great value and it's got some heft to it. I mean, you do see a little bit of seam from where this doesn't connect together quite perfectly on this side, but on the front, you don't see it really. You do see it over here, but honestly, a little, uh, a little pressure would probably be enough to just get that clamp back down, but even if you don't want to do that, just a little, uh, a little modeling clay on the outside of this and a little paint, and you're not going to see that at all. Um, so that looks great. Like I'm, I'm living for that right now. So let's take a look at our upper floor first. So again, this is just a, a little paper doll. I think she's actually in the cat family, so we'll par probably see her later. Um, and then again, this is all just held down with a single big piece of plastic. So let's open that up. And this is gonna be the tricky part is trying to get it away from the cardboard, I always find, just because Cardboard is so flimsy, and with this glue, it really does hold to that very top layer of paper. And so it's gonna pull that paper away. And I learned from the last time about opening these right side up, and I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to do it like this, to where hopefully, I don't lose everything as it comes out. Oh, the only thing I lost was a ball, but I was able to catch it on a downswing. And that is the furniture that comes in the upper floor. Oops, sorry about that, I budged my camera. But this is what the bed looks like. And it does have a mattress. Like it has a mattress and this blanket is separate. And look at that detailing on the bed. You do see the individual wood planks. Again, there's the honeybee decor with the little heart. And that's got a little cutout. Like, that is cute. I was thinking this was gonna be molded plastic again. And you do have an individual pillow. Again, these are very flat pillows, but it works for the scale. And it's very cute. And then we have this toy chest which opens and we have a little teddy bear that we can stick in there and a ball that can stick in there and it closes like that's actually cool it doesn't like latch but it does stay down on its own so let's put that back where it was so that was there and that was over there 
And now we're gonna look at the bottom floor. Okay. And we're gonna try to get all of this off. See, if I just pull, it does not come off, which I find kind of frustrating, but also, like, I get it, but, you know. So you kind of just got to find a spot that you can tear into that bottom paper and just kind of go at it. Most of it to stay on there. Now our cousin Chloe does have a little, a little staple holding her on to the top of it, but she comes off. Again, these don't stand up very well, but they still stand up once you have them figured out. And then they fall over, but that's okay. Uh, I would honestly, if I'm gonna, if I was gonna display these in a way that I was gonna actually like keep them out all the time, I would probably display most of them sitting. Uh, but there is cousin, or at least leaning. So cousin Chloe goes over there. We do have another of this color of chair. This is a different armchair than the one that we got in the. Uh, in the living room set, in the cozy living room. So again, they're not cheaping out on these molds because they are actually really well done. Um, and then there is a fireplace or a fire grate that goes in front of our hearth. And I think there's actually, there are actually little slots that that fits in to where it's not gonna slide around when you move it. So that's nice. And then again, we've got this window box with some more sunflowers in it. Sunflowers don't come out and that hooks on right there. Uh, and then we have a cute little tea set cup. There are little uh, food items and plates and things in this series. Uh, a good chunk of them come in the kitchen and then in the uh, camper van for some reason. And then we have this uh, little table that it sits on, a little side table. And then we have this rug. This rug is very cute, but I don't know if I want to use this rug right there or if I would rather use the rug from our, uh, from our living room set. So if we just leave it like that, that's all the furniture that goes inside. Like once you take the plastic out, it does not look as full, which is, you know, it's true because the window ledge thing was in there. The fireplace was sticking further out. You had the fake character right up there. You had the toys out of the toy chest. Like, you know, it was going to happen. And your figure takes up the majority of the attention here on the bottom floor when you do that. So what we're gonna try to do, and I'm gonna try to set this up to where I can really just focus in on this visual. So what I have over here is I have, and so there's no curtain rods in this house. The only place that the curtains come in handy is gonna be at the Busby Farmhouse. I did look into it. None of, the, all of the furniture sets, like the living room, the bathroom, and the kitchen, all come with curtains, but not curtain rods. And that is because the Busby Farmhouse has curtains, has curtain rods, but no curtains. So, 
if you want to use these in here, they are too short or they are too tall for this area, which is kind of disappointing, but it also does mean that you have different floor heights in the Busby farmhouse, so that's kind of interesting. But it does mean that these curtains are pretty much useless unless you're gonna buy the $50 set. So that does take out six pieces. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, six. So that does take out six pieces per furniture set, just FYI. Um, so I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this uh, couch that we got because it does match our little, uh, does match our armchair. And I'm going to put it back there because it fits back there. And then we can put our armchair right there. And we've got our little thing right there. And we've got our, our little thing right there from our uh, furniture pack. Our uh, console table, or not console table. Uh, oh, the word escapes me right now, but. I know what it is. The uh, coffee table. There we go. That's the word. And let's put her in there. Now, Cousin Chloe is um, the same kind of cat as this one from our uh, Playground Pals. And that is uh, Leo. So Chloe and Leo are the same color pattern which is kind of cool. So I think I'll put Leo up here in the, on the bed, because we're gonna make Leo live there. Oh, he doesn't sit real well on this, on this fluffy mattress unless we lean him up against the headboard. Um, but again, we've got a little tea set. Um, I could put the clock up on one of these walls that's angled or over here above the bed. I do have enough room. Again, that's the little clock that came with the uh, thing. And we do have a little basket that we could put over here for fireside stuff. And we could give Chloe a reading light. But that is too tall to fit under there, just FYI, because these do have different heights. But... Um, so, I mean, that is how that looks down there. It looks kind of cute. Like, the furniture pack fits in there. Uh, I'm not going to put the red chair because I don't want to put the red chair. Um, and then the TV, uh, there's just not room unless I was going to put it, like, right here. And I could do that. To where it was like this. If I was going to do that, but then that cuts off our eye line of everything. But again, that is, if this was a four walled structure, that's where that would probably go. But I want to save that for the actual, if I get a, another house or anything like that. But up here, you can push this toy chest back and put, um, Put the wagon up there if you wanted. It would fit. Or you could honestly put this chair over here by the window. I'm very tempted to cut the tags off these little uh, cushions that we, that, that we get. I'm gonna do it because I, there's no point to these tags. They just get in the way when you're trying to stage things. Um, but 
like the little chair fits over there in that corner not perfectly because it's an angled ceiling but honestly close enough again it's too tall to put the lamp up there it will fit on these outer parts without any problem because there's no central roof but you know it's still very cute and we could take this and put it up here in that area if we wanted to or again we can take the toy chest and just put it over back by that window and pull our chair out like that like and it makes it look a little more complete and then we still have the uh, swing you guys back that way so we still have this TV console the TV the lamp the rug the fireplace with all the things that go on that and the big plant if we were gonna put it somewhere so all that stuff could still go in the big uh, Busby farmhouse so right now I have five figures in here without anyone really looking cramped or anything. Uh, and everyone's got a seat to sit on. And actually, I'm going to take the mouse, because what's better than a cat and a mouse being friends? Again, these guys just have articulation left and right. put her right there <laughs> and so that's where we have them like we have got so we've got six figures in here right now and it doesn't look cramped everything has a place I could honestly back this up a little bit if I wanted so that way we can see more of the doors and the windows or I can bring it in a little closer so we have more space at the back like the only thing that bugs me just a little bit is that I cannot get this couch back here perfectly flush with the wall just because the fireplace has those uh, indention marks that are right in there so the fireplace doesn't really move but Again, you can do whatever you want with these. Um, and let's see what this uh, yellow rug would look like on this floor. So this yellow rug is a lot bigger if we were to put that in there. But again, that's gonna take up a good chunk of your floor space. Again, if we want to center that, we can. Let me put it right there. Like that. And we put our little thing right there. But I think I actually like the circular rug better. So I'm going to leave that rectangular rug for the rectangular rooms of Busby Farmhouse. So again, just kind of be careful with those itty bitty pieces. But that's another piece that we have for our farmhouse, if we were to get the farmhouse. And I do notice that I do kind of speak in a royal we, and I have had that pointed out to me a lot with work. Because people are like, oh, did you work on the did you work on this with someone else? And I'd just be like, oh no, I speak in the royal we apparently. Um, but. So in case you've ever wondered, there is not a second person here. But. Again, it's very cute. Uh, I don't think I'm going to put the clock up just because there's not really good room to view it. Um. And then we do have our little uh, family photo 
that we could probably put a little sticky note or sticky thing on, but again, that's not for this family. So, again, Chloe and Leo are the same kind of cats. Uh, so they're very cute. Like, I'm here for it. Uh, I may actually just move this over here to this side, but it's very cute. There's no stairs or anything. Uh, actually, I'm going to leave that over there, even though it blocks the light a little bit. I'll show you guys this angle. Um, but again, there's, it looks really good. Like, honestly, like when you get everything in place, you know, you can see through these windows, through these doors. And, you know, there's a good amount of space here in the front to walk in. Again, you can see them all hanging out on the couch from the window. And just, like, this is worth it for a 25, in my opinion. So, if you wanted everything that's exactly pictured here, the way I set it up, the house was 25, the kids came from the Playground Pals pack, the furniture came from the Cozy Living Room pack, and that is it. So you've got 25 for this, 20 for the kids. So we're at uh, 45 and then 10 for the furniture pack. And that's, you know, so 55. And you have, you know, a whole group to play with. And we still have uh, four others from the Playground Pal packs to put somewhere else. And we have our uh, our baby unicorn guy. I'm noticing has a weird... Oh, that's just his blushing. It looked like dirt. But he's fine. He's not. And again, uh, I am going to do a review comparing the little woodsies to these guys here in a few minutes. So look for that one if you want to know what they are like compared to other similar brands. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. This has been Disney D Prince. As always, if you liked it, drop a like. If you have a question, leave a comment. And subscribe if you want to see more reviews as things come out. I know I'm kind of looking forward to see if they do a second series of these Honeybee Acres. So from Honeybee Acres, Sunshine Cottage, or Sunflower Country Cottage, Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.